Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris Young from Gander RV and Outdoors standing inside the 2020 Dutchman Atlas 2502 REF. Now, Dutchman designed their fifth wheel travel trailers to be inviting with the furniture and give you room to enjoy and play while out and about, all at a very affordable price point. So if you've been thinking, Chris, we need a little bit more space than a travel trailer gives us, but we really don't have a 3500 that could tow a heavy fifth wheel. This 2502 could be just up your alley. Space, lightweight, not that big, but the way that they did the dimensions and the layout of everything, I was really impressed when I walked in and saw how this was set up. So we're gonna start right back here at the rear entertainment part of this REF. Large bay window at the rear, plenty of space as well. What you're gonna find with the Dutchman Atlas, there's lots of storage space. You got solid wood shaker style cabinets with the brushed nickel fixtures. The wood is almost maple glazed and the construction is really inviting. I like what they did with the light on dark accents here with this Belmont style decor. Now, what really blew me away besides the allure furniture here was look at this entertainment center. We got a 40 inch LED fireplace with blower right down there at the bottom, which is gonna do a lot to heat this room and keep it nice and warm. Got component storage here, Jensen AM FM CD command center there, and the speakers are also dual zone. But take a look at how they designed the style and layout of this entertainment center. Plenty of countertop space, and more than just on the swivel, the TV moves and you have more storage right back here. Plus you have a latch, uh, a strap right there to keep everything uh, connected. But just giving the viewing area and the angle, it's that just makes it so much better, if you ask me. So when in travel, you know, you just connect it there. And Bob, I'm gonna see if you can get on this side for me. Right there is your power ports and connection for this TV. This unit does come with Key TV. Key TV is a thing that Keystone did so to combine all of your connections so you're not chasing cables. You got satellite, cable, you know, all that stuff. You put it all in one spot, plug it in, you're good to go. Side opening doors and the cabinetry all has those, what I like to call the hidden hinges, the recessed hinges, which you're not gonna see when you open. That's great storage space. Once again, the maple glazed hardwood shaker style cabinet. Got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner sitting here. Large high profile ceilings. We come over to the kitchen area. Right away, you're gonna notice this giant stainless steel faced eight cubic foot residential fridge that runs on both gas and electric. It also has the automatic switch, but that's great storage space there. You're not gonna be lacking for, if you go on that fishing trip and you get a nice catch, you bring it back and need a place to store it. There you go, space for the drinks, space for days. Come our way to the L-shaped kitchen. And even though it's in a compact space, the way that they did the layout really gives me some good countertop prep space. Not to mention, if you're gonna be chopping and cooking, you could do it right here on top of the glass cover for the recessed three burner Furion stove. I'm a big fan of these grill style covers too, because they're easy to take off and clean. But more importantly than that, since this is recessed, it's gonna be much easier to move the pots and pans around. Got a backsplash that is solid. That's not an applique, that is actual backsplash. Stainless steel Furion appliances as well. If you notice, that just gives it a really cool looking little feature. LED accent light on the controls, 21 inch oven. So if you want to bake that chicken or you got, you know, let's say you went out and you did some wild turkey hunting. You got yourself a big old Tom. You throw that bad boy in there, you're good to go. Got space for days. Full extension on the solid wood drawers all the way around. Giant cabinet right here as well as more storage space above the microwave. Once again, residential, residential, inviting, inviting. We got the pop-up plug and USB charging ports. But the thing that I liked the most about this kitchen was the 50-50 farmhouse style undermounted deep well stainless steel sink. Love having the dual sinks. Yes, the big ones, the, the, they're, they're nice and you got plenty of space, but to me, it's just because of what I have in my home. This is nice. Brush nickel high rise faucet with sprayer handle. Just a great residential feel. And if you needed more prep space, got you right there. 
use that as your little cutting board or if you need to set something there while cleaning or prepping, you got plenty of space to do that. And this is seamless countertop too. So all one piece, just absolutely beautiful. We come over to the living area and you're gonna notice right away, it looks like it's all window. That's because it almost is. Some of the largest in-class windows you're gonna find in these fifth wheels. Plus you got the Belmont solid wood balances right there. Nice booth dinette right here. And if you think about it, when you go out and you go camping, it's about disconnecting and reconnecting with the family. When was the last time you got a chance to really do that? To disconnect and reconnect with the people that you love. It's about having fun. So when was the last time you had fun? You could have fun here. Eating the meals, playing the card games, talking about the hunt, the hike, the fish, whatever. Great spot to reconnect. And with these large windows bringing in natural light and air, this reduces down to a sleeper. That's going to be a great night's sleep. But Chris, what about the storage? You said it's a lot of storage. Yep. Would you look at it? That is on both sides of the dinette right there. Full slide out underneath storage. And yes, once again, solid wood, ball bearing, full extension, plenty of room. That's a great spot for the backpacks, the hunting gear, the whole nine. And I did talk about the plush allure inviting. I'm not gonna sit on that because I will fall asleep. That'll kick out and turn to a sleeper. Great spot for the jackets, or as I like to say, the grab and go bags. If I'm gonna go hiking or fishing or whatever, and I got my gear, I wanna be able to get up, grab and go, not be looking for something. I could easily hang my bags here, my jackets, my suits, whatever, right there. And make sure I'm looking all right in the mirror when I go up, because I never am. Good Lord, I feel sorry y'all have to watch me, I'm sorry. Main control panel is right here. You can check your battery, your fresh tanks, your blacks and grays. You do have water heaters on here as well. This is where you can control them. Ceiling lights are right there, slide ins and the awning. Now we do also have the max airflow system in this one. So that'll help keep you cool. We got 15,000 BTUs on the AC, over 30,000 BTUs on the heater. And they also have the Arctic package inside this. So really good insulation. So if you do need to do some cold weather camping, you're good to go. Solid door coming into the bathroom with motion sensor lights. Just wanna give Bob some room to get by there. So when you come in, you don't even have to cut the lights on. They know you're coming in. They know you're coming in to get clean. They'll cut on. Ceramic toilet bowl with the foot flush. Lots of storage underneath the single vanity here with the deep well sink. I got brush nickel fixtures there, plus good countertop space and a plug-in outlet. So if I needed to get hair dryer, curling iron, you know, towel warmer, whatever you want to bring with you, you could right there. Large, extra large mirrored vanity. And the only thing, like I said, I think I've said this before, the only thing I don't like about their vanities are the lips. They're not as high as I think they could be. There's some more stuff falling out. Come into the large single surround tub shower combo. Well, really just shower. You do have the bench seat here. Solid glass doors, but take a look at this skylight. That inlay makes this absolutely beautiful. And that light coming in there is so bright. I also have to, have to squint a little bit, but room, I'm not gonna be cramped. I got brush nickel fixtures all the way around, including the sprayer nozzle here. Just a residential feel that's gonna make me comfortable and, in, and have an enjoyable showering or cleansing experience. We take a look at the master bedroom and solid door, but a very nice touch with this frosted glass inlay. So Bob, I'm gonna let you go ahead and go in there. I'll follow you. So we take a look at this master bedroom and residential, beautiful. We have our own wardrobe slide with the mirrored doors. Got good shelf storage right there. Over here is where you have your hangers and your actual ward storage. Plus you got the solid wood cabinetry underneath, full extension on the ball bearings. And wait till you see this under bed storage. Strut supported and it goes all the way to the very top of the bed. So if you needed a spot for those premier fishing rods, those ones you didn't want to hurt, rifle cases, that's a great spot for that. We got solid wood, frosted glass, LED backlit on the storage lip up here, queen size bed, ward storage that's mirrored on both sides. Plus we got nightstands with what I like to call bookshelf storage underneath on both sides as well. Where that's a good spot for you know shoes, clothes, books. But we on the nightstands, we have dual USB and dual charging ports on both sides. So if you had a CPAP machine, reading light, whatever, that would be a fantastic spot for it. But if you take a look, 
right here above the bed. Now, Dutchman could have easily just sealed off this end and made that no window. But when you pull up to the beach or you pull up to the mountains, that's one-way glass. What a fantastic view when camping or reconnecting to be able to just look out and enjoy wherever you're at. That's just a fantastic touch. I love that. And right here, finally inside the master bedroom, if you did want to have a TV, you got the mounter right here. Key TV connection and power ports right there. So if you've been thinking about a fifth wheel travel trailer and you needed something with the amenities of home, but not as big as some of the other fifth wheel travel trailers, this 2020 Dutchman Atlas 2502 REF could be a fantastic option for you. So what do you say we go check out the outside? Okay, everybody, here we are on the outside, the 2020 Dutchman Atlas 2502 REF. I wanted to start right up here with this beautiful fiberglass molded end cap with the LED running lights. There's the window that I was talking to while we were on the inside. Now, fifth wheels, they are easier to tow even though they're bigger. That's because this hitch like we have here with this Rotoflex hitch goes in the bed of your truck, making it a much easier to controllable type of travel trailer. We got the generator box slash storage box right in there. Spare tire is mounted as well. Power leveling jacks for the front. Love having that. You talk about making life so much easier. If you do have the solar panels, we got your solar quick connect right there, ready to go. Sealed tinted safety glass all the way around this camper. And you're gonna notice this giant awning with the LED lights underneath, dual zone speakers, finished pass-through storage, just a great spot to put all your hunting gear, fishing gear, beach gear. We got the enclosed underbelly underneath. We're gonna come around to the solid steps, extra large grab handle, which also doubles as a door block, dual axle, and you got the extra wide berth in there. And these are the Dexter Easy Lubes on the 15 inch aluminum wheels. That just makes life so much easier when you're talking about the suspension going down the road. Key TV, external connections. So if you wanted to set up outside entertainment, there's your plugs there and your power ports right there back of some of our interior components. Plus, I'm a fan of how Atlas did their graphics on this fiberglass exterior. The light and dark just really looks good. Anti-slam magnetic doors on your storage as well, but for right here for the external kitchen, love it. When you're getting outside and you're entertaining, man, it's just having one of these makes life so much easier. You don't have to keep going in and out and tracking stuff in. If you got a great catch, when you come back from the lake or whatever, cook the fish right here. Got a cleaning area up there, some space, plus you got a light and the little, as I like to call it, the mini dorm room fridge right there. When everything is said and done, you can just push this away, grab your soda, great place to store. If you do have a really nice catch, cut up the fish, throw it in there, beautiful. Solid mounted ladder, which goes all the way over the top of these arched ceilings, air conditioned units right there. And having those arched ceilings with those three inch rubber nozzles are really gonna help keep the elements off of you, off of the slides and off the top of the camper. Fresh water connection, got your 50 amp service plug right there. Hitch, so if you had a little trailer you wanted to tow some of your vehicles with, you absolutely could. The Voyager Y-Sight technology is up there as well. Our specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors will help you get that set up. True fit slide here, which is also sealed all the way around with those beautiful tinted windows. Come back over here, your dump is right there. Now, you'll notice that your controls are going to be right here in your external command system, like is what I like to call it. You got your key TV single source connection, got your spray port right there, water bypass, black tank flush, city water connection, and your handles for your black tank, as well as a port for if you wanted to run a hose out. But your dumps are going to be right there. Just pay attention to that when you do get set up. Other side of the pass through storage here. You got twin 30 pound tanks on this beautiful fifth wheel. That's gonna make a big difference having that much room too. But the most important part with any camper that you always wanna check out is the info panel. This is what's gonna tell you how much does the vehicle weigh. So for example, unloaded weight for this one, 7,700 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 10,000 pounds. You wanna take that information as well as what you have with your vehicle, your tow vehicle, and ask the specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this the right fifth wheel for me? But if you've been looking for that nice family entertaining fifth wheel, you need some space and a fantastic value when you're talking about a fifth wheel, you cannot beat this 2020 Dutchman Atlas 
2502REF. But leave me some comments down below and please like and subscribe. Tell me, what'd you think about this fifth wheel? Do you see yourself having it? Would you like, would you not like? I love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out a camper. They're fun. I'll see you soon.